Hey guys, this is Scott Wilkerson. Uh, I wanted to create a, a quick screencast to show you how to use the Chrome Web Store. And especially now that our students have access to the Web Store, I wanted to show you guys how that works as well. Um, so you see I'm, I'm in a Google Chrome screen. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure in the upper right hand corner here that your students are logged in or that you are logged in. Um, on student machines, you'll probably see a little picture of a person there, and that just means they're not logged in. So you click on that button and go through the process of logging in, just like you would log into your email um, or your, your drive or anything like that. So that's the first step is to make sure that you're logged in. And that, like I said, is for you and for your students. So once you're logged into Chrome, you'll see in the top left-hand corner of your Chrome screen here, you have a button that says Apps. And if you click on that, it takes you to the page you're looking at on my screen. And yours may not have the same apps that I have, but these are apps that I've downloaded. And you see down here at the bottom, just like on an Android or an iPhone, um, you have the, the lines or the buttons to signify that you have different pages of apps. So you just click on that page to show your different pages of apps. Um, but if you, if you don't have any apps installed, you'll at least see this little um, shopping bag here with a Chrome icon on it for the web store. So you click on that icon to go to the web store. And here's what's really cool. You'll see a section called Allowed Apps for Students. So if a student goes through this same process, they'll see these apps that appear over here on the right-hand side. They can browse through them, and they can install them. So these apps that appear in this section are apps that have been approved by the district. And these are the only apps students will be allowed to install. If you feel like we should add an app to this, you can create a help desk ticket and actually suggest some apps for us to add here for your students to be able to download on their machines. Um, so that's, you know, this is here for you to be able to see what your students can access, and then this is what will show up on your student's machine. Um, so if you want to download an app or an extension yourself, you have these other buttons here at the top. Uh, you can click on apps to search the store for an app. So if you have a specific app you're looking for, let's just say you want to learn how to type faster. Type in keyboard or typing, whatever you're looking for. Hit enter, and you'll see lots of apps appear over here. Uh, you'll see the blue button that says Add to Chrome. That means you don't have it yet, so you'll click on Add to Chrome. But if you see the, the green button that says Rate It appear next to one of these apps, that means you already have it installed on your computer. Um, so once you find the one you like, you just click Add to Chrome, adds it to your account, and you're good to go. Um, so you'll see um, in the web store here, we do have apps and extensions. There is a difference between apps and extensions. Extensions are what appear up here in the upper right-hand corner of my page. An extension is just like a, think of it like a small program that does something really quick for you. So I have this button, this uh, extension that I've added, short URL. So if I you know, any web page I go to, I click on that button, and it gives me a short URL. So these are extensions that I've added to Chrome. But then apps, think of apps as um, shortcuts to websites, I guess. Um, you'll see these apps that I have installed down here, they really are just like shortcuts that take me to a website. So this typing game app that I've installed, if I click on that, you see it takes me to the URL for that typing game, and I can just start playing it. Um, once I've logged in, I'm good to go, and that's um, that's an app. So you have apps, you have extensions. Students will only be able to install apps, and like I said, they'll only be able to install the apps from that approved list. And if you would like to have an app added to the the section for students to be able to download, like I said, just create a help desk ticket and give us some suggestions. I hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.